Meet June. This is June when we first got her, the before of the transformation. June was very sick and she happened to have a thermal burn, which was probably from a heating pad at the shelter. Because of this, we made her a pink vest to help it heal. When we first got June, she was very dehydrated, as you can see in her eyes, and she also was not eating. We changed June's vest every day to make sure that her wound was healing properly and we also got to bottle feed her and she started to regain her strength as well as her weight. At one point June had to be hospitalized and she started to live in an incubator but two weeks later she began to regain her strength. She was still a little bit uncomfortable and antsy. When she started to feel better, we could see her beautiful blue eyes. Eventually, we decided to stop putting the vest on because her burn was mostly healed. And after about two months, this is June after. It's pretty hard to tell that it's even the same kitten. As you can see, June is extremely playful and she loves this toy sheep. I could watch her play with this for hours. She even was a princess in my cat Halloween costume video. Loved going on my shoulder and licking my face. You can see this cat climbs up my shoulder. <laughs> my cats loved her. And she loved playing with random things like paper. And now comes the happy ending to this story. June found her forever home. Honestly, I miss her so, so much every single day, but I'm so happy I found people that love her just as much as I do. Here are some pictures of her enjoying her new home. Now, meet Maya. Unlike June, Maya didn't have any major health issues, just a small cold. However, she was very afraid and didn't like being around people. 
That picture is actually a picture of her from the shelter. When we first got Maya, she was extremely thirsty and she still had a collar on, probably from her previous owner. She was really afraid of people, especially men, and constantly followed my mom around. She could have been hurt or beat by her last owners. She didn't really know how to interact with other animals. Her ears had some minor fly bites on them just because she was probably living outside. She struggled with being separated from us even for a couple seconds because she probably faced abandonment before. Overall, she just had to overcome a lot of fear. I think in some cases Maya is still a work in progress, but she has come such a long way. In a couple weeks, Maya learned how to walk on a leash, so we got to take her to the beach. And she also is starting to learn to be potty trained, though it's taking her a little bit longer. And she also learned to sit on command. In addition, she is playing a lot more with my dogs and she is really, really coming out of her shell. <laughs> She also likes playing with random objects. As for the forever home, this page is blank just because she has a home right now but she hasn't been adopted yet so I will keep you guys updated. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, you should definitely give it a thumbs up, especially if you want me to do more kinds of these videos in the future. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That is all. Bye.